And, but I was like, well, where is this church? Like that was my, that was my largest concern is I'm starting to understand the early church fathers, early church fathers. I'm starting to understand their wisdom and their critiques and what really mattered to the Christians just a generation away from Christ, right? They weren't praying for new Mercedes. They actually weren't even praying for themselves to all be healed. They were praying for a good and glorious death, right? They were, they were praying to be worthy to take the Eucharist, and concepts that were just really far removed. So I had to have something that showed me this church was alive and well. Coming up, we'll see what prompted Harrison's conversion. Both sides of our family are somewhat uh, unsettled because obviously this isn't the wedding that they were planning for, right? They had all these ideas and we're like, well, there's this thing called the Mass and we're going to have, you know, a Mass. Should I try to use my mind to figure everything out or should I simply rely on faith to understand? See, those who rely on faith alone to view the world are not using their minds to reason. And those who only rely on reason to interpret reality are turning their backs on the gift of faith. Well, the perfect solution involves a marriage of both faith and reason. See, God knew that we would be full of questions, big questions, as large as our universe. And God created us with intellects to wonder, dream, and philosophize. Yet God asks us to believe in some truths that we can't see with our eyes. We can arrive at perfect truth when we choose to see with the eyes of faith while we reason with our minds. And our faith can truly blossom when we explore it with our mind. Maybe St. Augustine said it best. I believe in order to understand, and I understand in order to believe.